This is Nine News Now. Also tonight, a new technology that gets its name from the insect world. Firefly. Surgeons at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital are adding it to their robotic operating system to better illuminate tumors inside the kidney. As is the case with many patients, Gene Carter's kidney cancer was discovered by accident. He was recovering from pneumonia and doctors ordered some scans to see if his lungs were clear. They were, but a spot on his kidney raised an alarm. I sort of thought at 70, this is not likely to go away. Nobody could say how slowly would it grow. And so the question is, are you going to be in better condition if you live to have surgery later or to do it now? Surgeon Keith Kowalczyk suggested surgery now, but with a minimally invasive procedure using a laparoscope and robotically guided tools. They go in through small incisions, so recovery for patients like Stan is easier. What isn't so easy is for the surgeon to see. When tumors are that high up on the kidney, it's often very difficult to operate in that area because it's so far up. Sometimes they're inside of the kidney, and it's very, very difficult to find. You use ultrasound, but it's still difficult. That's where Firefly comes in. A tracer is injected into the bloodstream, then infrared imaging is used, and the arteries that go to the kidney light up a fluorescent green, including the inside of the kidney itself. The cancerous tissue does not reflect the light. With the Firefly, it doesn't light up, and it helps guide me to where I should be cutting inside of the kidney. I think it's a game changer in that it makes the procedure easier, it makes the procedure more precise. FDA approved last year, Firefly, used together with the Da Vinci robot, minimizes damage to healthy tissue. Now, four months after surgery, Gene's impressed with the results, and his kidneys are still tumor-free. It's worth appreciating what technology can do. And MedStar Georgetown is the first hospital in our area using Firefly imaging this way.